Scott pointed out, is we wanted to be very relevant. And as, as being very relevant, we wanted to make sure that the equipment in this car is really fulfilling the promise uh, that is coming with a proper luxury car. And so we wanted to also equip it very, very well. And so it's very important that you capture what's in here as a st very rich standard equipment uh, of the new A3 that is included in the base price of 29900 for the 1.8 e or 32900 for the Quattro variant for the 2 liter. So by Xenon headlights with, uh, with daytime running lights, LED tail lights, uh, S-Tronic that we already mentioned, uh, leather seating services, uh, power driver seat, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, telephone interface as well as audio streaming absolutely standard inside this car. So we wanted to make sure that it's not just entry level car, but as you get in this car, you're going to feel very familiar with what is typical in today's luxury segments. Besides that, as I mentioned already, very rich list of driver assistance systems. We have the presets basic as well as secondary collision brake assist as standard equipment, but available, we have things like active lane assist, uh, which is able to keep your car inside the uh, inside the lanes, and that is of course specifically taking advantage of the electromechanical steering. We have the adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality, and we have of course the Audi side assist that we already know from other models. So full array of driver assistance systems also available of course on the new A3. Now these options that we point out here are some of the class exclusive options, options that really no one out there has, uh, not only in uh, uh, other segments, but specifically of course here in the entry level A segment. Uh, the 7 inch MMI screen, we're going to talk about that in some more detail, but of course the LED headlight uh, option that we have available in the Prestige model, uh, that's something that uh, also none of the competitors in this segment have, and we wanted to make sure of course that all of this relevant technology is making its uh, way also in the package of the A3. Of course, let's not forget the 705 watt Bang & Olufsen system uh, that is available as an option and I, I invite you to really uh, uh, take a listen and uh, see how we did on, uh, on that specific system. As far as uh, the MMI then specifically, uh, this is again a very important story and a lot of the different walls are telling you different stories about the MMI. The fact that uh, we have uh, not uh, taken advantage of cost cutting, we wanted to specifically make sure that a retractable screen is standard equipment in each and every Audi. So here you have, of course, the thinnest uh, screen in the industry, about 11 millimeters, and uh, really as it pops out of the dash, it feels like the most modern uh, smartphone that is coming out of the dash, uh, and that's exactly the kind of feel and the premium uh, kind of um, uh, touch that we wanted to achieve in the interior. The latest uh, latest from uh, NVIDIA, of course, the Tegra chipset that we have there, and I will specifically address uh, how we're going to deal with that in the future. And last but not least, of course, the MMI touch, which is now included and integrated into the, into the uh, rotary wheel so that you're able to uh, uh, write in specific inputs for addresses, uh, for telephone numbers, and uh, really get um, really get a number of inputs in, available into the uh, into the MMI system. In fact, it's something like a 600 different uh, finger movements that this system is able to recognize. So it really does uh, provide a very strong versatility for us to give variety of inputs into the system. But the system itself is very important for us, and uh, it's important. You will see uh, in uh, in that uh, in that uh, exhibit over there. Uh, just what we're able to do with the newest MMI system. The fact that uh, we have essentially kept the core of the uh, typical automotive hardware uh, unchanged, but we now have something that is modular, and that is the, uh, as we internally, internally call it, the MMX, our multimedia extension, uh, which is a board that you will see um, over there with the uh, NVIDIA chipset, which is, on, um, which is on top. And that is really the magic, ladies and gentlemen, of what enables us to shorten the life cycles and the development cycles of the vehicle and the very fast moving electronics industry because of course as a result we are able to dramatically increase the speed by which we can bring a successor into the car. Previously this was upward of seven or eight years. We're able to shorten that to 
two years, maybe even a little less than two years, in terms of the ability of bringing the next generation product to our, uh, to our A3. What that means in real life, in real life this will mean that within the life cycle of the A3 sedan, we will have the ability, and in fact we will bring an upgrade to that, uh, to that hardware, because it's that much easier for us to achieve, of course. And uh, if you uh, specifically want to know more about that, um, the good news is that, like Apple, we do have our geniuses as well. And our genius in this case is Mr. Hulliger, who is over there. And uh, so you can speak to him after the show if you have more questions on that specific technology. But we think it's very, very cool. And of course, that enables us to really expand the uh, portfolio of Audi Connect. As you know, Audi Connect has been a, a suite of services that we have been now providing for quite some time. And if you look at this uh, impressive list, now uh, we're able to uh, extend that even further. Uh, you see that we have uh, Facebook and Twitter interfaces. We have something called picture navigation, where you're able to take a geocoded picture on your smartphone, send it to your car. Next time you go to your car, you can actually click on that picture and just navigate to that location. We have personalized news. We have uh, uh, airport uh, flight information. And uh, these are some of the new services, as well as city events. These are some of the new services that we are now including in the portfolio of the Audi Connect. And as you can imagine, because this is a flexible platform, and a lot of that is talking to you, of course, here on these walls, we will be able to, uh, we will be able to extend that even further as we go. But uh, at this point, I think it really then makes sense to uh, provide you with a lot more information on this very beautiful car. I think uh, no one better uh, could be here to uh, tell you about this magnificent car. It's Danny Goran. Uh, Danny comes with a very rich history uh, of, in Audi design. If you, uh, if you remember the uh, previous generation Audi A8 or the Audi Q7 uh, or this wonderful family of all the A3 vehicles and even the new Audi TT that you guys have just seen a few days ago in Geneva, a lot of that is actually thanks to, uh, thanks to Danny. So, uh, very warm welcome, please, uh, please welcome Danny Graham.